this is Brenda, and today I have my lovely assistant and daughter, Laurana. Look at that smile. You can see she's got some teeth that are ready to come out, huh? Uh, yep. <laughs> two of them, actually, and the tooth fairy is no, very eager to come. No, four of them! Well, two of them are loose. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the tooth fairy is very eager to come and visit her. So, she's interested in learning how to make videos, and so she's wanted to help today. Uh, all right, so a week one recap did not go as well as I had intended. Probably not a good idea to start a personal wellness challenge in a week where you have a holiday, where you have some vacation, where your hormones are kind of freaking out. I know, TMI, right? But ladies, you know what I mean when I say there are days when you just want to eat everything that's in sight, right? Yeah, well, that was me last week. So Probably not the best time to start a personal health challenge, but what went well was that, on the whole, I was making better food choices. Yay! And out of the six days that I had intended exercise, four of them actually happened. So that was good, and we'll just get the other foot on the wagon and continue as we move forward. All right, the other thing I wanted to talk about today is the contents of this book called... Smart Blood Sugar by Dr. Marlene Merritt down in Texas. It has two uh, programs that I'm focusing on. One is the eating plan, and then the other is the exercise. Both are actually pretty simple and straightforward. Um, that's one thing I love about it because it feels very doable and very manageable. Um, and so, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing really what this can do for me and especially how it can impact my blood sugar. So the eating plan, there are three rules. The first rule is that you limit yourself to 60 grams of carbs Yay. per day. Those 60 grams of carbs are coming from kind of your naughty list of carbs. Those include things like breads, desserts, um, a lot of beverages, even fruit juice, energy drinks, even milk, um, those all have sugars in them of one sort or another, and sometimes they even have other things in there that you really don't want to be consuming anyway. Um, so you're counting those, and also from the produce aisle, you want to avoid fruits, beans, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and corn. Those are all starches. Well, the fruits aren't starch, but they have a lot of sugar in them, and sugar is sugar. And when you've got sugar issues with your blood, sugar is still sugar, right? So um, those are the things that you, that you count. Rule number two, you eat every three hours. Okay, that doesn't sound so bad. And then rule number three is to eat fat with everything. So you want the bacon, you eat it. Don't eat vegetables without putting butter on it. Um, it really sounds like a, a pretty good deal, and there's lots of really good fats out there that I enjoy, like nuts and avocados and olive oil, even lard. Lard is actually a really good fat to cook in if you're going to use it because of the type of fat that it is. Um, so anyway, eat every three hours, limit yourself to 60 grams of carbs per day, and eat more fat. Yeah! She also recommends two other things. One is drinking half your body weight in water each day. I'm going to be using um, ionized water with a higher pH because there are so many wonderful health benefits to that. Um, and I can't wait to tell you more about that. I didn't track my water this week, um, so that's something I'll be doing moving forward. And then the other piece is to do some regular intermittent fasting whether it's um, eating less than 500 calories for two days a week or um, only eating two meals per day or even just doing a full fast for one 24-hour period every week. Uh, that's, those are three different options. If you do the 24-hour fast, just make sure you continue to hydrate yourself with uh, non-calorie beverages, so basically water. I, there are some carbonated ones out there either, but I don't care for the car for carbonation. So I won't be doing that. With the exercise, she has a six-day plan because the seventh day you rest. That's good sound exercise advice, right? <laughs> right. Um, three days you're going to do a 20-minute walk, and that's it. Easy, right? 
The other three days, she has a series of exercises that take less than 10 minutes to complete. And it's things like doing wall push-ups or air squats or air punches or even something she calls get-ups. And that's where you lay down on the floor and you get up. I know with my age and everything, getting up is just not as easy as it used to be. So, and you're actually using a lot of really important muscle groups when you do that. So um, she has a few different, it's really kind of like interval training, three days a week. Um, and the other alternating three days is 20 minute walks. Easy, right? So um, what, what I did, one thing that went right was I contacted a friend of mine. We used to walk before I had kids and uh, we scheduled three days a week that we're gonna get up early and we're gonna go walk around our church. The church perimeter parking lot is quite large and it's empty and um, you know, pretty safe place to go that's nearby. And so that's what we've started doing. We even invited other women from uh, our church to come with us. And it was really kind of fun to see the, the number of responses for people who are interested. And you know, many times when we start something like this, we can include other people who wanna make some changes for themselves too. So that's basically the plan. We can go into more details in coming weeks. Uh, but I wanted to thank my lovely assistant, Lorana, who's done a great job. And uh, thank you for your support. Keep watching. And, and if you have any questions of anything else in particular that you would be interested in, let me know. And we'll do a video on it, won't we? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching and have a great week. Bye.